Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today I finish my run of the Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskies with a single barrel. Uh, the old number seven, I have this video here, and the gentleman Jack here. Uh, they are mixtures of several barrels um, in a huge vat and so the uh, aromas of each cask uh, intermix with others and give a uh, homogeneous repeatable taste uh, of those whiskies. This one is different. It's a single cask or this is the Scottish word, uh, a single barrel. Um, and uh, so be careful if you taste or have one of a single barrel at your home. This will be most probably a different cask. So this is one cask. It's quite old. It was already filled in the bottle 27th April 2012. Uh, and we now have the year 2014. Uh, so you will have a different cask from which you taste your single barrel. Um, it's 45% ABV. And here's the barrel number 12-2059 and rig number R15, hand selected Tennessee whiskey. Um, Oh, it's a French one. Chaque bouteille de single barrel est issue d'un seul fût spécialement sélectionné par nos master tasters pour son goût unique ainsi que son caractère doux et aromatique. So it means uh, smooth and aromatic. This is what they are looking for in their barrels. Um, there are different positions in the warehouses uh, in Tennessee. If you have your cask very much on the top of those multi-story buildings, then the cask uh, becomes warm and hot and loses a lot of alcohol and matures in a different way than down in the warehouse at the bottom in the center where it's quite stable and cool. Uh, so the maturation uh, advances differently. And I don't know which cask Jeff Arnett, the master uh, distiller of Jack Daniels, selects or says, says look at those uh, ricks. So this is R15, whatever that means. I don't know. Um, there's a tiny bottle available with five centiliters. Um, so they promote it and those tiny bottles are quite expensive, relatively seen. Uh, so single barrel is important for Jack Daniels and the single barrel is a lot more expensive uh, because of the manual selection process and the longer maturation period. It is said um, that these uh, single barrels are selected after four years of maturation, 48 months, uh, but they are selected by taste, not definitely by time, uh, which might be around four years. Um, the casks will taste differently because um, the whiskey or the raw whiskey, the white dog you put into the casks is close to constant. They are continuous distillation uh, columns where the Jack Daniels is produced on. Um, but the casks, the oak is, uh, is growing differently at different positions. Uh, if you have a, a north slope or a south slope, if there's a lot of water or less water, uh, if those staves of the casks are naturally dried or artificially dried, uh, uh, produced in an industrial way, so there are different uh, influences on the casks. And therefore, all the cask, cask and the position they mature in the warehouses uh, tend to produce different 
aromas. So this one has uh, a stronger ABV than the others, 45%, which means 90 proof in the US shame. And uh, it's also darker. So it might have been lain or rested in the cask for a longer time than the others. And the Gentleman Jack is, I had here, uh, is much lighter in color because the filtering process after maturation uh, also tears out a lot of uh, mm, substances which are uh, associated with color. This is much stronger and reminds me a lot more of a Kentucky straight bourbon than of a Tennessee whiskey. There's an interesting estuary note, not too strong. And uh, mm, I think it's a aldehyde, aldehyde it's called, the chem chemical name for this solvent taste or aromatic note and behind that it's it's oak and sweetness it hits you quite strong intense oakiness Mm, a little licorice, licorice sticks. My father used to have some, and we as kids got from him, so I'm used to this licorice taste for decades. Some leather becoming drier, more spicy. This is a good one, and I would prefer by none of the other two, but invest everything in this bottle. It's more expensive than the other ones, but it rewards you. It's really better. And there will be different aromas in your cask. Mm. Where your bottle will come from. Thank you for watching whiskey.com. Stay tuned, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and feel free to share this video with your friends.